Good morning, welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We'll have mostly cloudy skies out there today, perhaps overcast at times. With abundance of upper level cirrus cloudiness, we'll also have onshore flow, so it'll be a little bit cooler today compared to yesterday with temperatures in the lower 50s for highs. And we'll have a area of low pressure moving along the North Carolina and South Carolina coastline uh, tonight into tomorrow. That's going to provide us with some showers and uh, some more unsettled conditions for Friday into Saturday morning. Looking at our current surface analysis, we have this area of low pressure that uh, was over the deep south last night. That's currently slowly moving along the uh, coastline of the uh, Georgia, Alabama, excuse me, Florida, Alabama uh, area. That's going to be moving along the uh, Carolina coast tonight and then up and off the Mid Atlantic coast tomorrow. That's going to provide us with uh, the showers that we'll see uh, for our Friday. Our current conditions for today, we'll have a broken deck uh, currently at 25,000 feet. North northeasterly wind at 10 degrees at 9 knots, gusting to 17 knots. Temperature at 45 degrees and relative humidity at 44%. Taking a look at our satellite imagery this morning, you can see we have abundance of that upper level cirrus cloudiness across the region. We'll see that for the remainder of the day. We'll also see some clouds lowering around 18 to 15,000 feet for this afternoon into the evening hours. And then once we see that area low pressure uh, moving closer to us, we'll see those clouds drop even farther and seeing that uh, possibility of some rain showers overnight. We'll Taking a look at the three kilometer NAM model, giving you an idea of what the radar may look like today. Here's noon and then moving on to the evening hours, nothing on the radar just south of our region. Let's move into after midnight Here's uh, 2 a.m. or 2 local, then 3, you can see it's bringing the rain showers just along the coast, and then we'll see this second upper level disturbance pivoting through the region for early Friday into early, uh, fr into early Friday afternoon, I should say, and that should give us uh, some rain showers, possibly moderate times during the uh, early afternoon hours, and that will continue to move through the region. Should she should see excuse me a dry period uh, for late Friday afternoon into early Friday evening before we see some rain showers start to pivot back down through the region uh, Friday night into Saturday and could even see a brief uh, snow flurry across the central and northern portions of the Delmarva Peninsula with this second band of uh, showers moving through the region for Friday night into Saturday. Won't see an accumulation but uh, possibly the last uh, snowfall uh, across the region uh, for the winter time and looking like uh, we'll see that move through the region lingering across the area Saturday morning with some cooler temperatures and breezy winds. So for our European model giving an idea of what this is putting out seeing those rain showers moving in the region tonight and then really uh, developing across the region as this area low pressure moves well off the coastline but we'll have that second upper level disturbance moving through and that'll provide us with the forcing for the rain showers tomorrow morning into the early afternoon hours the Euro keeps that rainfall through here through the uh, afternoon hours tomorrow. I do expect us to have a brief break uh, during the late afternoon, early evening hours that I mentioned. And then we'll see that additional band of rain showers pivot through the region for uh, Friday night into Saturday and possibly seeing uh, some snowfall, as I mentioned, across central and northern uh, Delmarva, but won't see an accumulation as surface temperatures will be well above freezing at that time. And for Saturday we'll just see breezy conditions, uh, mostly cloudy conditions in the morning and then becoming partly cloudier in the afternoon. Looking at our risk chart for today, we'll have a high around 52 degrees. Our breeziest time will be this morning north at 9 to 14 knots, gust to 20 knots and we'll become northeasterly this afternoon at 8 to 13 knots and then finally southeasterly by this evening. Well, winds will become northeasterly once again for the overnight hours at 7 to 12 knots. We'll see an early overnight low of 42 degrees. If the winds do calm a bit more than uh, some of the models are putting out, we could be seeing temperatures in the upper 30s for the uh, late evening around midnight time period, but looking like we should see those temperatures in the lower 40s right along the coastline. We'll see those rain shower chances come in after two local on uh, Friday morning and most likely after five local uh, we'll see those rain showers in here and a possibility we see the ceilings below 500 feet with the uh, rain showers in the region. We'll have VFR conditions today and then we move into the overnight hours we'll see a chance 
of a broken deck around 700 feet with those rain showers in here after five local and then at eight local on Friday morning we'll have those low clouds in here with a broken deck at 600 feet and uh, the rain showers around the area with a chance we have an overcast at 500 feet with a moderate rain shower. Our tides are currently normal and looking at Friday through Saturday Friday will be overcast rain likely through early afternoon then breezy with a chance of a rain shower. We'll have abundant low cloudiness early with a high of 48 degrees. It looks like we'll have about a 90 percent chance of rainfall on Friday looks very likely at this time. Our winds will become breezy in the afternoon and we should see winds possibly up to 25 knots at times Friday afternoon and with those low clouds in the morning looks like a likely condition we'll see those ceilings around 500 feet or below. Friday night we'll have cloudy skies with slightly breezy winds and uh, rain showers likely a low of 37 degrees uh, we'll have an orange for our precipitation, so looking like about a 60 to 70 percent chance of rainfall Friday night. Uh, winds will be around 25 knots, and uh, we'll see those ceilings uh, possibly below 500 feet. And for Saturday, we'll have overcast to mostly cloudy skies, a slight chance of a lingering rain shower early, then partly cloudy by afternoon. It will be slightly breezy, and we'll feel chilly on Saturday, with a high of 48 degrees. We'll have those winds near 25 knots and uh, the chance of precipitation in the morning looking about a 20 percent chance. Well that's going to complete our 815 daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 o'clock to look at the next seven days.